on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. <laughs> Coming to you with another afternoon pour. It's late in the afternoon here and I, uh, my husband and I are going out for tea, but he's not home yet. So I have paint mix, so what better thing to do? Come into the art room and do a quick pour. So this paint is the Montmartre Studio Acrylics. It was white and I added that um, carmine, pink colour. So I'm going to do half and half of um, pink and sort of a bluey grey. I'm going to do my, my um, twist on the Dutch pour, the Dutch pour Aussie kiss I think. So I'm doing one side the pink and this side the sort of grey. I mixed this, it was just white and I added navy and a blob of black. So nothing, you know, strange or hard or difficult. It was just a little custom colour that I whipped up because I've got the paint sitting here. So no worries. Just spreading it out nice and evenly with the spatula. I'm not too worried about going over the sides of the canvas at this point in time because I can always blow over the sides. Um, it's not a problem, so no problemo. We've had another glorious, glorious winter's day here in uh, Queensland. I think it was about 26 degrees today Celsius, so pretty nice and warm for winter. It's beautiful in winter in Queensland. We usually get all the people from the southern states, which are colder in the winter, uh, come up to Queensland for the winter, but of course because of the restrictions people have not been allowed to travel so it's been a lot quieter up here. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing well and coping with what we all have to cope with at the moment and new normal by the looks so just find something that entertains you and gives you joy and it just makes it so much easier. I find anyway. So those are those colours. Now where should she go from here? I am going to put some of the, I think it was the carmine, um, but I've added a bit of white to it. And I just used my normal pouring medium with this. This was the 70% um, clear glue, uh, the Montmartre clear glue and 30% water, which I pre-make up in a, a bottles. So I've got it always ready to add to my paints when I feel like painting, which is every day, basically. So I've got the carmine. And the, this was the Brilliant Red, was it the Brilliant, am I getting my colours mixed up? Oh, I think this was the Magenta, it looks the same colour actually. Oh no, it is a lot darker. That one. This was, I believe it was the orange and I've added a, a dash of red in it. I believe it, I've made these paints up quite a number of days ago with a lot, batch of other paints and I can't quite remember what I did. So, okey doke. Um, do I want to? Yes, I do. This is just the turquoise. I'm just going to add this, I think, on this side. Oh no, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay, and I want to add, this is, um, I think it was a metallic black. I'm not sure, I think it was the dimensions. Not 100% sure, but I know it's a metallic black. So, 
this should make for an interesting pour. We just see how it goes and um, hope for the best. And if not, if you're not happy with something, just scrape it. It's not worth having something that you're half happy with. And so I'll pour that down that one side. And I'll pour the blue down the other. Oh, where's that coming from? Oh, never mind. It must have been meant to be. So I will plug in my dryer. I suppose I could use my mini blower. Just try the dryer. See how we go. Oh yeah. Righty, righty, righty. You just have your dryer on cold. I'm going to try and get a smaller dryer because this is very big and cumbersome. I don't find it very... Oh, that's what I've got to do. I've got to blow this over up. Apparently I keep forgetting to do that, but there's no set rules. You haven't got to do anything. Just go with your own creative uses. So I'm going to go all the way up like this. And then I'm going to go out. Okay, that's looking like one big mess. Not liking that at all. Let me see if I can change it. If I can't change it, I'm going to scrape it. I'm going to just go for it and scrape what I don't like. I've obviously put too much paint on again, but I didn't want to just have a little... I wanted to spread the colour, but definitely not... Um, I don't like these holes that keep coming it must be because I do put I have that was paint that wasn't mixed for a Dutch pour so I had silicon in it I'll just see what I can do um, let's see if I can yeah, I'm not liking these little hole thing. And I put way too much black. So learn by my mistakes. Not happy, Jen. Not happy, Jen. I'm not liking it, but I just work with it. And if I can work with it no more, and I don't like it, then it's got to go. Get off. Fly up. Shoo, shoo fly. Let's work with it and see if I can get anything that looks half decent.
see how we go so thank you guys for all the pointers you've been giving me on these Dutch pours because I um, am just learning this particular technique it's not one of my fortes for sure but you know just give it a go and um, I've had some great pointers off people and the main one is to keep your paints thin even though it kind of doesn't feel right to do it to me because I, I just don't feel happy doing that keep, you know having my paints really thin I'm thinking it's um, you know reducing the integrity of the paint by thinning it down so much but loads of people seem to do it so I'm, as I said I'm doing my kiss and blow so I'm going to just add some little of the water balloons just in the little areas the holes that I don't like I mean they're not holes that are sh uh, going through the canvas I think it's just because there is silicone in the paint um, and for a Dutch pour I don't believe that they add any silicone in the paint silicon silicone yep too much black I shouldn't have, I should have kept away from that black because you obviously only need a very little amount of the dark colors because it just overrides everything but I'll just merrily trot along with this balloon and see if I can get anything not it's not one of my favorites but the funny thing is is that when you think oh that is so awful somebody will come in and say oh I love that I must have that so it's different strokes for different folks so they don't really look like balloon kisses which is fine but it's just taken away that blob look out of it into a different blob look in it that off there I don't like that and you just can do your edges with your balloon or with your finger or you just can blow some more paint over the edge it's all good okay I'm done just another little try for you it looks better than when I started I believe so I'll put some photos on at the end thanks so much for joining me in another little exploring um, session art lab session for me again the big mistake I can see I've absolutely made is the black it's just sent everything gray looking and I wanted those real vibrant fiery colors so so another try bye for now thanks so much for joining me and thanks for um, subscribing to my channel so until uh, tomorrow um, bye for now wait on for the photos